Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the The Field Museum Chicago. There is so much to see here to truly absorb it you will need to spend more than a day inside. The Field Museum did not disappoint. From Sue that Rex from South Dakota to Woolly Mammoths, lots of great hands on exhibits for kids age 499, and a younger kid play area too. The Field Museum is a fantastic museum though suited for slightly older children, and adults due to the need to read, and consume information. Of course, if you have young children who like to look at dinosaur skeletons, or taxidermy animal specimens you could be here for days. It is convenient to use the multi-museum pass, and visit the field, shed aquarium, and the Adler Planetarium which are all within walking distance of one another. The museum is in a historic building with a fantastic view of the city and close to the Shed Aquarium as well. If you're going to visit, it's definitely worth a spreading the visit over multiple days so you can see everything without rushing, and missing anything. Also just a short walk from the subway, so it was extremely easy to get to if you're doing the city by transit highly recommended. Do not stop by the stairs if you have a stroller, or a wheelchair you have to use another entrance for strollers, and wheelchairs. They have very few elevators so if you have a stroller or wheelchair you will have to wait a lot to get in one elevator. Sue the Trex is the most complete skeletal fossil of a Trex ever found. Much, much more to see as well. While geared mostly towards teens and adults due to the large amount of information, the museum is still good for all ages. They are constantly doing upgrades and bringing in new exhibits to the museum and even allow patrons to see things as they happen. The animal exhibits are old but really well done, and there is something special about seeing these majestic animals up close that you don't get at the zoo. During the week there is ample meter parking before 8 a.m. Get here early, or suffer the consequence of paying 25 to park. Some of the exhibits are still pretty dated, but that was honestly kind of charming, and nice to see older exhibits still being relevant. The taxidermy is also beautiful, and although it is sad to see dead animals many of the displays truly show the animal in its prime in addition to the animals, they also have an incredible exhibit regarding the history of China. The pictures are just amazing. If you go there, ask if they still have it, and ensure to have the extra ticket. Food court is also present so you can spend whole day inside without having to come out for food, and other stuff. You can tell the staff does this frequently because everything went like clockwork from the food, and drinks to the valet parking service which did take a while, but shame on me for being among the final few hundred to leave. So much taxidermy. The museum is separated into different exhibits, so you can really tour through each space with proper context. This place is amazing you just need to go when they open up, and take your time don't ruin h it's so huge. I haven't been in years, but enjoyed everything, didn't get a chance to see all of the second floor, but will be back to finish. The Field Museum is fantastic, make sure you set aside plenty of time so you don't feel rushed so much to see so many different cultures different areas, and the home big zoo. The DJ was the main entertainment, but had the volume very low, you had to be on the dance floor to hear it. But as soon as you stop, and really focus on any topic, your field experience will not be done that quickly. And the basement is mostly for younger audiences 6, and under, but take a quick look as there are some really neat displays. It's a huge museum that will take up the majority of your day if you're looking to experience everything the Field Museum has to offer. You should plan at least three hours here, but could spend up to a couple days if you really want to see and read everything. Chicago's Field Museum, one of the world's great museums of natural history was built to house the biological and anthropological collections assembled for the World's Columbian Exposition of 1893. Over the last 125 years, the museum's collection has grown to an astounding 24 million objects, ranging from ancient mummies to exquisite gemstones, and endangered plants to dinosaur fossils. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.